by the time you get to advanced age, both men and women, 90% of both will develop some type of cardiovascular disease. There could just be blatant differences in the way that men and women develop heart disease. I mean, just because you get to the same endpoint doesn't mean that men and women are traveling on the same road to get there. So we've never thought about it that way historically. And starting to do that in both clinical trials as well as basic science research, I think we're learning some really interesting things about basic differences in the pathologies between men and women that will lead to more personalized medicine and, and personalized treatment for the opposite sexes. So, I mean, there's actually a lot with especially heart attack. I mean, you think of the, the Hollywood heart attack, the clutching of the chest and the, the, the pain, and the, the, that's typically what you see in men, although women are much more likely to have fatigue, they'll have back pain, they won't necessarily know what their, their experience is in a heart attack, and they think the reason for that is because in men, the heart attack is brought on by blockage of a large artery, whereas in women, it's these smaller arteries that tend to have restriction of blood flow. So the same way heart attacks present themselves differently and have a different basis, why not hypertension? So that's kind of what my lab is focused on at the moment. Aren't women protected? Don't women have less heart disease? And, and I think a lot of women feel secure in that idea and don't know that heart disease is the most likely thing they're going to die from. More women die from heart disease than all cancers combined. But people don't tend to know it. So the American Heart Association launched the Go Red for Women campaign. It happens on the National Go Red for Women Day. We have a symposium. We brought in an outside speaker as well as highlighting ongoing research on campus between investigators who are doing anything related to women's health to help improve awareness on campus of one, the fact that heart disease matters, and two, that by studying both males and females at the basic science as well as the clinical level, we're going to learn new and interesting things.